And we are back with Harlem Sculpture Gardens, and I'm very pleased to have in the studio Heather Williams. Thank you for coming, Heather. I thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Great. <laughs> and so Heather is going to talk to us a little bit about her practice and then also specifically about a sculpture installation she's developing called Witness. So Heather, why don't you tell us how did you begin uh, your career in sculpture? Oh, wow. Several years ago, a friend of mine invited me to take classes at the, the lower, at, in, at the Lower East Side, mm -hmm. Educational Alliance, in fact. Oh, that's yes. Where it I'm was. familiar there. And there was a, a teacher there. His name is um, Paul Lucchese. I'll never forget. And I just, you know, started working, doing sculptures there and didn't really take it seriously. I... Um, had these pieces and then the next thing you know I just had them in my basement okay. <laughs> then <laughs> but then uh, one day an artist friend of mine he came he was looking at my, uh, my other work and he saw that I had these sculptures like just hanging out in the basement not even patina or anything and he was like what's going on with that you need to take those out so I took them out I took three of them out and in a in a show, and one of them sold immediately. Really? And, and I was like, "Wow, okay, I maybe need to take this a little more seriously." Um, fast forward, though, I, I kept creating these faces, and there's something about the faces that I know once they have a certain um, expression, that's when I know that it's it's time to stop. So it's not about making them perfect or like beautiful or um, you know it's more about the the expression that brings them to life gotcha and so um, they just became witnesses mm. and I think a lot about this void created by the the legacy of the middle passage mm -hmm. and the things that I'm still not knowing about my own history and connection to my ancestry. Okay. So I feel like those these sculptures are my way of it's it's my way of reaching back. It's that that link to um, my ancestors. I think about the Benin sculptures. I think that's fascinating, Heather, how your sculptural practice has to deal with the middle passage and how you're trying to connect your family roots yes. with the works that you are uh, developing. And why did that middle passage, I guess in so many ways, haunt you? Because you, you feel very committed to this. I feel, you know, on a, on a personal level, as a person of Caribbean descent, mm. there's a lot of history that in my mind is just missing mm -hmm. right I've done my ancestry.com I know <laughs> I've seen the percentages I, I I've seen that I have a high percentage of, of um, ancestry from Nigeria mm -hmm. and that also when I think of um, Benin mm -hmm. and and the Benin the lost wax um, processes and the sculptures there I'm I feel like I'm connecting to that in okay. some way. Okay. Right. Um, and if I think from a broader perspective, mm -hmm. like today we're talking so much about erasure. Yes. And, you know, this book is not okay and that book is not and okay. And canceling right? culture. And canceling culture. So I, I think it's the artist's job mm. to be in resistance to erasure and um, w I think of this opportunity to um, install work in Harlem in the public in the community all of those are to me in a way acts of resistance to that erasure and so it, it's beautification yes mm -hmm. it raises our awareness mm -hmm. to the the specific location and what needs to be done the care that should be taken um, in the community mm -hmm. I, I feel like th that this is the importance of, of art right so it's like multi-layered yeah so well, I'm glad I, you brought up your Caribbean background because a lot of people 
focus on just the southern migration, but there was also a Caribbean migration uh, from, I believe, 1890 to 1910. There were 51,000 Caribbeans who came to Harlem because of the hurricanes and, um, you know, crops being destroyed and needing an income. And so these people also migrated as well. So I think this is, this is great to bring in that Caribbean history. So I just want to say thank you, Heather, for joining us in the studio and mm -hmm. talking with us. And we look forward to seeing your witness this May for Harlem Sculpture Gardens. Thank you. I am so excited. And thank you for creating this opportunity for us. Thank you.